Asante sana bwana speaker na wabunge wenzangu. Ah nataka niende direct kwa mada na nikisoma mada ya kwanza inauliza president ruto requesting for one year to reduce or manage unga prices tuliwaambia nyinyi ni wajinga mkimfuata ruto mkadhani tunawadanganya muliambiwa 100 days sai it is 300 days after 300 days they will be requesting for another 2 years after 2 years watawaambia hii muda imebaki kidogo acha tumalize hii term hiyo maneno tutaangalia next term mkitupatia next term hiyo ndio itakuwa campaign tool ya kwamba tulijaribu kusukisha unga ikatushinda sasa mutupe twende tujaribu tena kwa hivyo na, narudi kurudia na kusema kwamba mlikuwa wajinga na bado sasa mmegundua kwa uwazi ya kwamba kweli mlikuwa wajinga kwa sababu muliambiwa 100 days now it is here very soon it will be 2 years 3 years until 5 years Na niko sure. Niko sure. Hiyo kinyangarika ambayo kimekaa katika kiti ya president ya Kenya. Na narudia kwamba ni hiyo kinyangarika kwa sababu we never voted for you. Na nitasema tena mara kwa mara. We never voted for you and you know the means and the manner that you use to attain this nation. Mr. Requesting for a year. Requesting for a year is a direct is a direct indication that you are fooling us. And wale wajinga waliokubali kudanganywa na kulagaiwa bado mtayaona yale yale shida ambayo mlikuwa mnaona. Ukisubiri unga ya shilingi 100, tafadhali anza ukalime yako. So for that, it is just one of the signs that you were lied to. Mulidanganywa. Tunambiwa mambo ya kazi mtani na hustler nation. The hustler narrative ilitumika kuwa danganya nyinyi. Tukiangalia all cabinet nominees, there is no even a single hustler. Ukiangalia wale watu wote ambayo wamekua nominated, wote ni mabilioneas. Mutu wanasema ya kwamba, I'm worth 420 million. Mutu wanasema ya kwamba, I'm worth 4 billion. Mutu wanasema ya kwamba, I'm worth, there is nobody who is worth less than 100 million. Kwa hiyo committee yote, where is the hustler? Wewe na ujinga yao na ina wea nyumekosa kuwashwa mwaka mojo, unasema ati hustlers. That hustlers are represented. Which sort of hustler? Umuona mutu mwenye mevalong kama hii yako akiwa metajwa pale? Think twice, there is none. Mulibebu wa ujinga na badu munabebu wa ujinga. We badu unamini ya kwamba unga itateremuka. Ngoja yesu wa rudi. Ndiyo utona unga ya Kenya ikiteremuka. Second, out of the 22, uh, 24 cabinet ministers, discuss any three that will perform. None. <laughs> None will perform. Like, ask yourself, I said it here and I'm repeating. Mutu kama Aisha Jumwa. Alijaribu ubunge, she never performed. Akatoroka, akasasa kujaribu kuwania kiti, watu wakua wakamuambia wewe hawezi. Hawezi, because she never performed. Ingekuwa li perform angepewa ile wadhi falikuwa na wania. Akashindua. Alafu nyinyi na ujinga enyum anakuwa nominated unasema isha jumu anaweza. My friend, munataka kuona these performers. They know and they have no means ya kuendesha Kenya yetu. We have very sharp-minded people. We have very sharp-minded individuals who can run this nation and who can run those ministries. Not fools like Aisha Jumwa. With a, a person who's from first certificate in a soma D. <laughs> Naendelea. <laughs> Wanasema wanaulize ya kwamba how will hustler funds help hustlers? My friend. Angalia kitu inaitua term and conditions ambayo mumepewa ku access hustler fund. Wengi wenyu mulikuwa munadhani hustler fund itakuwa kama pesa Ya babu yako, ambayo utenda na unaitisha na unapewa. Umewekewa terms and condition for you to access Hustler Fund. Wewe ndiyo Hustler hapa, hata ofisi ya chief yenyu ya ingia. Hustler Fund unenda kupata wapi. You are not known. And you will never be known in this nation. Because you decided to be fooled 
by foolish leaders. These leaders fooled you and you bought their foolishness. Nyinyi ndio mkakuwa wajinga zaidi. Sasa hii ukiona mwenzako unamuona kama mtu wa UDA. And then you want to move on. There is no way this nation is going to be liberated. If not you. Common mwananchi, mtaamuka na kugutuka katika usingizi wenu. Muda umefika ambapo lazima Kenya ipambazuke. Muda umefika ambapo hatutadanganywa tena. Nilisikia mtu akisema ya kwamba wajinga wameisha Kenya. <coughs> Niligundua wajinga ni wengi. Na wajinga ni wengi zaidi. Na hawa wajinga ni wanajiita hasla. Muta nakwambia kwamba anataka muweze kulipa mortgage. Upate plot by paying 5000. Nyumba ikue yako. Hapa so weto umelipa pesa ngapi? Hata keateka mpatani na yeo, unapita huku ya napita kule. Keateka kisikia unapika nyama na kuja kugonga. We mbonu unapika kuota na ujanilipa. And then somebody selling for you lies ya kulipa moteji. You own a house. Kwenye uliacha shamba imelala ujalima. Kwenye ulilala, uliwacha shamba imelala haujajenga nyumba. Unakuja kutafuta moteji Nairobi. Stupid. Those are the people we call fools. Na muna danganywa na muna kubalia. Tafadhali muzugutuka katika hii usingizi mnao lala. Wakenya wakati imefika. Na wakati ni huu. Na wakati ni sasa. Ambapo hatuta kubali. Serekali ya kudanganywa. Wewe kama mama mboga uko wapi. Jiulize wewe mtu wa mboga. Nilisikia jama moja ilisema ya kwamba. Rigadhi gashagwa alisema ya kwamba haslas ni muizi. Hasla ni mtu muizi ya nafaa kuwawa. Na wakasema ya kwamba mtu wa pikipiki wa mejaa Kenya hii na wanaendesha pikipiki vibaya. Wacha wayongeze bei ya fuel ili wakose kuenda barabarani. Ama wawapatie masharti, wapati ajali wengi wakufe. Those are the things they are telling us. Because anakuambia uendeshe nduthi, barabara ya kuenda kwenye ujatengenezwa. Ukipata ajali ukufe na yon nduthi yako, badu utaitua mtu wa nduthi. Let's think. We are citizens tunafaa kwa muka na kutoka katika usingizi huu. Wakenya wajinga Wakenya wajinga ambao walikuepo wengi wao walikufa wale ambao wamebaki ni werevu lakini wananyanyaswa So Mr President if you feel that your cabinet secretaries can't work come here I will appoint some of us here who I know wako na akili nzuri sana ya ku run those cabinets Ni shida ndio tuko nayo si ati sisi ni wajinga Nikimalizia Mr Speaker Nataka niseme na niseme na niseme kabisa. Umoja ni nguvu, utengano ni udhaifu. Sisi hapa katika uwanja wa Jakaranda tusijaribu kutengana kwa minajili ya mirengo ya kisiasa. Lakini tujaribu tuungane ili tuangalie jinsi tunaweza kujiendeleza. Kwanza kabisa kuna wale ambao wanatarajia, wanataka tena wanawania wadhifa mbalimbali katika uwanja huu. Nataka kuwaeleza na nataka kuambia kwamba you have got a good mind na tunakaribisha wazo wenu lakini i want to caution with utmost authority ya kwamba utapeli na ulagai nayo lazima ukome utapeli na ulagai lazima ukome nimesikia mbunge mwenzangu aliyetoka hapa mheshimiwa Nuro Kanga amesema ya kwamba ukiona mkikuyu Unaona biashara. Ukiona mjaluo, unaona gari kubwa. Ukiona mluya, unaona wanawake wengi. Nataka kurudia na kukwambia kwamba tuligutuka katika usingizi hii. Tulitoka hapo. Miongoni mwetu hapa kuna mkikuyu ajue hata talala wapi. Kuna mkikuyu hapa hata ukimwangalia chawa ilimkula inamaliza mwizi wake, mwili wake. Hana hiyo mind ya business. The mindset of a person inaanza na wewe as an individual. Not you as a community. Sio wewe kama community ya luo, sio kama community ya wakikuyu, na sio kama community ya waluya. Ni wewe mwenyewe ukona mindset gani? Jiulize wewe kama nuro kanga, ukipewa silinge lufu miyamoje saa hii, utafanya nao nini? Na ni jiulize mimi kama mwalimu, nikipewa 1000, nitafanya nao nini? Iyo ndiyo tutaendelea, lakini usione mtu na uwaweke kwa ujumla. I can point out, Luos who own very big estates in this Nairobi na sio wa Kikuyu. The same manner I can point out at lawyers who own big estates 
and they are not kikuyus. So inalingana wewe mwenyewe uko na mawazo gani? Inalingana ya kwamba wewe mwenyewe binafsi akili yako inasema nini? Kwa hivyo ukiwa umelala class utalala kwa sababu wajaluo wanalala. Ukiangalia luo is a lifestyle. I have to say that. Ukiona a luo person going for a 2 million vehicle, my friend. Ponda <coughs> raha kufa kwaja. Hiyo babu yetu alikuwa alituambia wakati alikuwa anaondoka. Akatuambia ponda raha kufa kwaja. Mului aliambiwa ongeza bibi wote wataisha Kenya. Mkikuya akaambiwa tafuta pesa ukazikwe nayo, si ndio? But I repeat, jiulize wewe mwenyewe as an individual. Maendeleo gani uko nayo? Ni idea gani uko nayo? Usiseme ya kwamba business ni ya wakikuyu. Hata wewe mului ya mteso mgisu pamoja na masai unaweza ukafanya biashara. That is a fact you need to take it. Take that one to the bank. Ukiangalia mjaluwa kona gari ya 2 million. Wewe mgiriyama. Wewe mkalenjin. Uneza nawe pia ukaendesha gari ya 7 million. Na ukiona mlu ya kona wanawake wengi na wepu nataka mwanamuke. Hata ukiwa kabila gani. Uneza ukaongeza mwanamuke. Mwanamuke ni luga na uongo mingi. Madanganyo ukona provok saba. Babu yangu wali nifunza kuna maneno matatu makuya kulinda mwanamuke. Kwanza ni moto. Sio moto ya kuchoma na pasi. Kiuno yako ikuwe flexible. Cheza kwa uyo. Iyo wanja ukianza eneleza. Iyo ni kwanza. Linda mwanamuke na moto. Jeluo wacho nja machi pia retindo. That is a, a saying in luo to praise women. Linda we mwanamuke na moto. Pili leta chakula. Supply. Then ya tatu ni wongo. Danganya ye kabisa. Utalinda nyumba yako. Asante sana buwana speaker. Sante sana honorable member Yes Yes, you eat away kwa wasi Yes, you eat away kwa wasi Asante sana honorable member Waja nusikia wifi pia Asante sana JPT Uyo ndiyo JPT mwenyewe But be Asante You eat away kwa wasi Asante sana wanabunge wa Jakaranda. E, na shukuru sana mwenzangu mwenye ametoka hapa. Mm. E, JPT mwenyewe. Yes. Lakini nataka kumkosoa Okanga Nur. Before yes. niingie kwa mada. Ukiangalia ukisema wajaluo wa hawajui mambo ya biashara. Tafadhali una, unatukosea sana. Tafadhali. Ati wajalu waloya wa, 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 ni watu wa Am um, umeenda Samburu? Ukienda Samburu si wana wanao wa mabibi wengi? Yeah. Yes, si si waluya peke yao tafadhali. Withdraw that from next time. Tafadhali. Aya nikiingia kwenye mada President Ruto requesting for one year to reduce uh, uh, and manage unga prices.